This didn't happen in our county, but it started in our county. That's the Broome County District Attorney taking questions for the first time on what didn't happen in Peyton Gendron's hometown less than a year before his racist shooting spree. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan live outside his high school tonight with new information about the threat Gendron made last June. Andrew, uh, we had heard about this threat earlier in the week, so what more did you learn? What's new today about it? Well, the district attorney thought it was important for really everyone paying attention to know it wasn't a specific threat. It did not specifically target the high school here before me. It didn't even mention a weapon to be used. It didn't mention guns. It was more generic. He typed murder suicide in an online classroom chat when asked what he plans to do after high school graduation, which was only a few days away at that point. Now, a year later, it seems that those words had a lot more meaning and were more of a plan than initially thought. The DA says protocols were followed by all agencies. The district reported the concern. State police went to his home, brought him to the hospital overnight, and he was deemed safe and not a threat after a mental health evaluation. Less than a year later, what he claimed to be a joke then seems much more like the beginning of a plan. Knowing what happened in 2022, what do you wish happened in 2021? Well, there's recommendations made. I mean, you, you can't change the law going back, but uh, obviously they probably recommended follow-up treatment, as they do in all cases when someone is evaluated for a, a mental health crisis. Uh, it appears that he obviously didn't follow up on any of that. The district attorney says the now suspect was never back on the radar of any local police until what happened on Saturday in Buffalo. Live in Broome County, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.